It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. It's another gloomy day here in Dreary. Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. Rainy. It seems like more often than not, we have rainy days on live no. days. What's up with that? I don't know. But yeah. it's a special episode today. Oh, yep. because the sound's on. Um, <laughs> well, that's not special. We normally do that. <laughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> Because, well, one, as you can see from our description, we're doing Blanton's, and we have our friends from Australia here, so they will be joining us soon. Um, actually, it's kind of a crazy day around the house today. Uh, Perry's got them um, in the basement, which sounds terrible, like he kidnapped them. <laughs> but Perry's got them in the basement doing a podcast right now. So uh, they'll be up in a few, and we'll pop out to the sides, and uh, everyone will squeeze in. Yeah, yeah. We'll squeeze in here. Yeah. Um, but I guess we want to go ahead and do our sample shout out, which is actually Them. from Chris and Leanne. Leanne. They no. brought us some, well, the Blantons, a lot of the Blantons that we're going to be having. The green. Brought to you by the Aussies. <laughs> the Aussies. Mm -hmm. The green, which is the Australian 80 proof. Mm -hmm. The uh, gold, which is the 120 proof. And the straight from the barrel, which varies. Yes. So we're going to have... Everything but the black, mm -hmm. which is the Japanese. Japanese one. So it's it's a lot. It's a lot. But but what they also brought us was a Jim Beam 1795, and then some uh, some wild turkey mm -hmm. one. So like the Master's Keep, that's only available over there. Right. Now have this, a sample of that. We can't get here. This because the 1795 was in too much. It looked too much like the 1792. Supposedly. So Jim Beam isn't able to sell it over here, but they Thank sold it you. sold it over there, but it's not being sold anymore. So oh, it's out I of circuit. I didn't know that. Well, that makes yeah. me even more excited about this. Right. Um, so, as some of you have called out in the comments that the UK game was last night, <laughs> um, we did have a few people over, including them, yes. and stayed up late watching the game and sharing our bourbon. Um, yeah. So... I've felt better. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, we might be having some technical difficulties. Are we right freezing now. or is it just our streaming that's freezing? Can are we tell us. Yeah. Is there us, a is there a problem? Let us know. Let us know. But um Oh well, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, thank you. Um but we're I'll gonna, ask. Yeah, ask. See. We're gonna go ahead and start while we wait for them to uh, to come up. We should be in about 15 minutes. We are freezing up. Okay. We are freezing up. Okay. No. Well, hopefully we're. Okay. Hopefully we're past that. Sorry. We're plugged straight into the internet, so I don't know. Yeah. I can do no better. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's just get that out of the way now. Yeah. So, we're going to start off with some beam here as we wait. For our Aussie friends. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if this is going to be better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, if that part of the story came through because oh, of yes. the breakup. But yeah, we did have some people come over last night for Just a, the, a few. the UK game. Chris and Leanne being two of them, our Aussie friends. And yes, UK beat Florida at Florida. What? First time in 31 years? And since 1986. You do the math. No. Um, no. <laughs> no, not now. But uh, yeah, so that that was great. But I may have gotten ex like real excited and celebrated. So, woo! Here this one goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, have. we owe our bell. We do. We're gonna do it quietly because there's a podcast going on downstairs. <laughs> not bad, right? No, I not mean, bad. Didn't you have to turn down the thing? <laughs> not bad. For that. So. Good job. But thank you. I approve. Okay, you and approve Sarah approved of this cowbell. <laughs> This cowbell has been approved by I'm Sarah, and I approve this cowbell. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Okay, so Jim Beam 1795. Mm. It is 95 proof, and I don't think it's age stated or anything, but it definitely has that... Say it. I know you're going to say it. That's Nutty quality. Yeah, yeah, it's got that uh, definite signature nutty smell but i also think it has some light fruit notes and a really mm -hmm. nice sweetness i remember on the nose. so we tried this last night and i remember saying it had like uh some cherry and like maybe light banana yeah i get that there. but like not in a bad way yeah because yeah. a lot of times for us banana can when we're like oh banana like, 
Well, we got that a lot in the 50 under 25. Yeah, it was a really common the, uh, flavor. The ones that weren't so great were like, oh, this is like straight up bananas. Bananas. So I think bananas. <laughs> I think we kind of have, um, what do you call it? Uh, brain not work so well today. Um, associated it with a, with a bad thing, but. <clears throat> it's not so fruity on the palate. Whoa. Oh, oh cheers, my... Brad. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> How about that? A cheers with a cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. I like that. It's like if we were doing this episode in a library, we kind of have to do light cowbell. But I think most people appreciate light cowbell, especially our earbud listening people. people. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Mash and Drum said when he gets enough subscribers, he's going to get a gong. And I really <laughs> like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get like a 10 piece set and just It's going to How does that look again? <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Uh yeah, is anyways. This is uh, a little smokier than <clears throat> I was expecting and I don't know if my tastes are off too. I'm a little off, but for my taste. Uh Barrel Strength Gentleman has some Blanton's Ooh. Black over here. We'll can you bring it over? <laughs> Where are you? But I like it. Um, it's pretty much like <clears throat> mellow. Well, thank you, whiskey shooter. Oh. We will shoot some whiskey in a cowbell form. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting crazy with the cowbell. Shame. Shame. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Um... I was saying last night, I thought it was more of like a dry nut, which was different. It was like a different bean nut that I had before. But mm -hmm. today, this being my first drink of the uh, of the afternoon, and it was not last night. Um, I feel like I'm coming at it from a different perspective, yeah. of course. And it's not really dry. No, it's not. It may have just been... I think it's... And that's the thing. And here's the thing about like... What's the thing? Here's the thing, Sarah. Tell me the thing. And world. Um, like, you know, when you're having friends over, you're not in that discerning uh, space. Like, right. It's I, not so I judgmental. Had, I had one glass. And I would, you know, not every time, but, you know, pour some water in there. Um, but sometimes I would just have something and then I would drink it and pour mm -hmm. something new in there. And, of course, you know, if you're doing a show, you're not going to do that. You're going to get a new glass or you are going to wash it out with water. Right. Real. You know, so, um, so I'm just saying there could have been a lot of yeah, other things. I mean, I think it. it's more like social and discovery mode than analytical. Right. So. Right. Exactly. This is nice. You like I it mean, though? I do like it. Yeah. I it, would like to have some, but it's, that's never going to happen. So. How again, much is Chad had already? Nothing today, Eric. Nothing today. <laughs> Maybe some leftovers from yesterday, but. Not even today. I mean, what? I Ooh. mean, you're feeling it. Oh, feeling it. Not too much. No, just me? I'm, okay, great. I'm great. I'm alone in this boat? I'm wonderful. Okay, that's fine. I'm super. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, mm. The only other thing, it's Jim Beam-wise, that's 95 proof mm -hmm. is the single barrel. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's pretty. That's kind of cool. I'd like to try them next to each other. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, that's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. It's super chill. Super chill. Super chill. Super chill. Mm. <clears throat> Well. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we probably have about six or seven more minutes before okay. the before the Aussies join invade. us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the Aussies invade. What shall we do night. in the meantime? By the way, if um, if you watch to this point on the replay and you're like, I just want them to get to the Blantons, um, look down, first pinned comment, I have the timestamps of how you can just jump to those parts. So mm -hmm. I always forget that you say that in the beginning, and I'm always like, la-di-da, on with the episode. <laughs> I'm not worried about those people watching this later. Yeah. And good job on always keeping that in mind. Gotta think about the replays, you know. <laughs> you so, do. You do. Since we have a full house today, um, I'm just going to rinse out the glass. That's because glass <laughs> Glassware is limited. would be at a commodity today. Um, Perry's downstairs using some as well. Sarah is yawning. Excuse me. Great live stream. Sorry. High I'm, energy. Oh, I'm trying. 
<laughs> you guys, I'm drying. <laughs> no, I'm having a fine time. Neil Pert impression. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Just need to be hydrated. <laughs> so, this is not mine, but this is a full bottle of gold. Isn't it pretty? That the Aussies brought over. This is going to someone else, but I said, can we just use it for the stream and show people? Just a prop. Ah, look at that. The gold horse. And if they felt like opening it, we would have it. <laughs> the gold. So it's not a, um, you know, it's not a sticker or anything. This is actually Just on like the bottle. Just like the gold lettering. Ooh. Yeah. So it's completely see-through. Uh, That's yeah. nice. Gold top there. I do like the gold horse. Mm -hmm. So shiny. Yeah. I think this is the prettiest bottle of all the, the blends. You do? Well, the Le Maison du Whisky has a very... <laughs> pretty painting on it, it does but the bottle painting. itself I it's think, true that is a pretty one. sexy one yeah i'm i have to agree this is the le le, le maison du whiskey bottle we've done an uncorking of this we haven't seen it you can go check it out this mm -hmm. is like sarah's i really favorite. really like it yeah, yeah. and yeah. i was telling someone last night we didn't put it in our best of 2017 um because you can't get it so right yeah but it's delicious. delicious. And we're gonna get to it um, we here will. in a few. Yeah, but. absolutely. So, um, if you can find a bottle of the 1795, some- I recommend. Somehow, yeah. Somehow. I, I, would, I would recommend. Definitely. Yeah. If you can get your hands on it. Do, do, do. Should we just drink some of the, our regular old USA Yes, let's Blanton's do it. Blanton's kind of get acclimated? Yeah. Okay. So good old Blanton's. Single barrel this buffalo is a trace. Letter L, if you're curious. It's an L top. An L top. Um, let's. Sarah has a don't touch sticker on it. What? Oh, on the plants. I got you. Um, someone said thoughts on the new riff, bottled and mod. We haven't opened it yet. I had it on um, yeah, pod, a podcast that Perry did. Yes, that's right. With Swan. But I. May have tasted it afterwards, but like I just a did. tiny sip. Yeah. So I'd yeah, like more time and a more of an official review with sure. it. Sure. And we are going to uh, uncork that. I think we're also going to do the wilderness trail. trail. Mm -hmm. You always want to call um, it wilderness trace because that's what was written on their building, and then we can only assume that they had to change it because it's too buffalo close trace. to buffalo trace. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do those two on the same uncorking because they're both released. Pretty close to each other. They're both new Kentucky distilleries. They're mm -hmm. both bottled and bond. There's yep. just a lot of similarities between them. So we're going to do that as like a twofer uncorking um, in 2018. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's like <laughs> um, our year is uh, pretty booked. Pretty booked. So this was dumped mm. in July of 2015 from Warehouse H. Rick number 19. 93 proof. There you go. Yeah. From barrel number 230, in case you were wondering. <laughs> That's its story. Yeah, and we're sticking to it. So the green, 80 proof, never had that before. Mm -mm. We generally like higher proof things, so right. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. curious as to, uh, and the thing about, and we'll talk with this with our Aussie friends, but everything over there that they mm -hmm. get, exclusive, or maybe not even exclusive, but maybe everything, mm -hmm. is a 700 milliliter. Instead of a 750. Yeah. So, and then they're taxed on the, on the proof. proof. Yeah. So that's why there's a lot of... That's crazy. 80, like you know, 80, 80 proof. Because they're like, or we're getting taxed. lower. <gasps> but it can't be bourbon. I know. We're going to talk to them about that. Stick around. That that We're getting into it, folks. Oh, I'm going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like they made the rules. Yeah, I know. And then, like, they're allowed to bring over a certain number of ounces with them when they travel, but anything over that limit, they get taxed per ounce, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it's not even per bottle. So I'm like, you got, that's crazy. They're like, yeah, that's why we can only bring so much stuff. So, Jeff Ellis. Hey, Jeff. Mm. Uh, overall, how did the Texas distilleries stack up to what you're used to in Kentucky? Sorry, it's far away. Um... I would say, I mean, you will you go. Oh, good. I mean, I would just say that the flavor profile is very different. There's some, it's like they're cousins or something, you know. They're within the same family, but 
they have a different style and I think it's because of the heat you know when we talk to them like not aging anything more than three or four years because the oak just becomes so overwhelming it definitely changes it because it's getting a packed ton of flavor in a short amount of time so it's like maturing but is it maturing and so yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it was interesting. Like I said um, when we did the recap, I love that iron roof cask, iron root cask strength. Wow, that's iron like trying roof. to say barrel proof light fight. Barrel proof light fight. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, the iron root. Um, hi Pam. Was hi Pam. Was one of our favorites, and I think that was like a two and a half year old. It did not taste like a two and a half year old. No, um, it did not. But you know, I think what in Texas bourbon is still a relatively young. Uh, mm -hmm. venture you know sure uh, I think what like 10 years old at the oldest mm -hmm. um, I think what it's kind of missing flavor profile wise that we kind of like is some of those extra aged ones mm -hmm. um, and you can't really say well 10 years in Kentucky equals four years in Texas and they're gonna taste exactly the same because that's not true yeah you know, people try to do that Oh, in a five-gallon barrel, it, it'll, you know, the ratio is to... And it doesn't really work that way. I mean, not I mean, to us, anyway. We're not scientists. there's so many other but, factors. Um, so I think, like, you know, a 10-year bourbon that we really love, or mm -hmm. nine to... Let's say nine to 12, has that certain profile mm -hmm. that, you know, we weren't tasting in the stuff down there. But that's not to say it's a bad thing. It's every, every place has their own thing. And I guess in Kentucky, you can... Maybe have more freedom. Yeah. But a four-year-old Kentucky. They're really limited there. Yeah, a four-year-old Kentucky bourbon um, might not be as strong as like a four-year Texas because of because of the heat. But I think maybe Texas bourbon might be a little, a little bit more limited right now mm -hmm. because of the heat. Now, if they yeah. get into like some heat cycle warehouses, maybe then. Then, then it's just kind of well, why not just age it in some place with a different climate? Yeah. You know, so exactly. It's, it's all about having something unique and they definitely have something unique there in Texas and celebrating it instead of condemning it for being different. Right. Yeah. And it was cool. I liked exploring and trying something new and definitely found some ones I liked, but I wasn't mad about coming home to all the awesome stuff we have here. So kind of missed it True. a little bit. Yeah. It was a big scotch crowd down there. So we were like, I'm so, I missed you bottles. <laughs> um, well, you had a Blanton's, we, well, we both did, had a Blanton straight from the barrel down did, there. We did, courtesy yeah, of James. At, at, uh, at Brad's yes. uh, semi secret party. Which isn't a secret anymore because no. we talked about it on the internet. Well, we did. The first rule of Brad's semi secret party is you don't talk about Brad's well, semi secret party. Se that's why it's semi. <laughs> I made it semi. <laughs> right, gotcha. Yay. Um, so Fred's asking, do we get any bitter aftertaste on this? Because that's what he gets with his blends, even if he puts it with ice, um, or filtered water or anything. He just, I don't get that, no. but probably because, you know, single barrel, right? I mean, I've had, we were talking about this last night too. I, someone brought over an E.H. Taylor single barrel. It was amazing. It tasted great. I loved it. I had one a couple years ago that was like one of my favorite bottles ever. We drank it all, so Chad got a new one. It tastes like wet hay. <laughs> it's and gross. I still have that bottle. It's not good. Yeah. And yeah. that's downstairs. So it's like, you know, you you hope to get in the same ballpark profile, but there's always going to be those outliers um, okay. that kind of mess with you. So maybe you just got an outlier bottle? I don't know. You continue talking. Okay. This I'm going to do <laughs> a little shift. Um, I'm going to widen our, our angle here, and we're going to welcome our Aussie friends here to the live stream. Oh, yay. I'm excited. So, uh, um, but yeah, so I would just, you know, don't give up on Blanton's yet. If that, that doesn't sound very characteristic of it. So I don't know. Maybe kind of put some feelers out about information on that particular bottle on the internet and see what comes back. Because um, you never know. Someone might also feel the same way. Or maybe you're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. To each his own. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to go ahead and shift over, too. Well, it makes not it yet, because Not yet, Chad said. <laughs> oh, because you haven't widened it yet. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm catching up today. <laughs> They're laughing at me. You guys will be in the middle, and we're going to move to the outside here. Okay. So, stand by for widening. <laughs> Do not adjust your monitors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can go ahead and move over, so, Sarah. Oh, yeah. And now I can move over? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just take the whole table with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, try and get over to that side. All yeah, right. That's true. 
There. Yeah. You sit next to Charlie. I'll sit next to Charlie. Okay. And you two in the middle, and uh, we're going to be on the ends here. Oh. Do we have another question that we can be talking on while? Um, no, we don't. Uh, I mean, people talking about, like, Kentucky being more refined. And, I mean... You know, if like Chad said, they've been doing it for about ten years, and how I mean, how many hundred, like in Kentucky, that's mm -hmm. part of the history. So you can't, I don't think that you can uh, expect for them after only ten years to be like experts and surpass Kentucky bourbon. It's not going to happen. Like I think that in the next ten years they'll continue to make tweaks and changes. Like Chad said, you know, heat cycling is that going to be a thing? Whatever else they decide to implement, and each place is going to have their own unique thing. They'll continue to change and get better and develop their identity, and it won't never be the same as Kentucky bourbon, but that's the fun part of exploring. Right, guys? That certainly Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Oh, that was a long-winded answer. <laughs> <laughs> Chad says fill time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's filled. It Stretch it out. Stretch the time. <laughs> Stretch it out. Okay, we're going to so get welcome. cozy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Chad, Don't be distracted by yeah, it's a, your faces. It's a little distracting. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay, so. Oh, you guys didn't bring your waters with you. Uh, I finished if, mine. Oh, oh you finished okay. yours. Okay, well, let's see if we can get Perry when to When Perry play. comes up, we'll be yeah. like, yeah. fetch us some more water. Post. <laughs> yeah. Moderator? But also yeah. moderate. <laughs> so, how was the podcast? It was good fun. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Good, good. What'd y'all talk about? Oh, um, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys totally yeah, that the entire a, time. You well, dominated. Oh, that. that's <laughs> that makes no. Sense. I love Chad and Sarah more. No, I love Chad. And Sarah more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do. All right, so no, it was actually about how much either of you loved us more. Oh uh, yeah. well, that that yeah. is an argument. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So everyone has glasses. Yes. Would you like to introduce them, Chad? Oh yes. Well, this is Chris. Okay, going this one? is Leanne or Lilith. Which yep. one do you prefer? Lil? Lil. Lil. So you have three options. <laughs> no, okay, so get Lil. it right. Lil. <laughs> hey, Perry. And oh, Perry! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Need those, Perry. I know, I'm working on it. He's going <laughs> to fetch, fetch the water, Perry. Take that, Sarah. I'll take okay. this. All right. This is the first time we've had four people on, and we would have Perry That's on too, but that would just be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... He'll pop his head in. Yeah. So... We are going to start, and we want to talk to you guys as we do that about the differences in bourbon over in Australia, because I think that'd be really interesting mm -hmm. to our uh, audience, and it's interesting to us. But we're going to start this. Um, I'm going to do a little rinse because we've been drinking already, <laughs> as you all have too. Yes, yes, we had a couple of things downstairs. Any, anything really stand out for you on Perry's podcast? Uh, the small batch E.H. Taylor was actually really nice. Oh yeah, mm. found oh a, nice. Found a, a different tasting bottle from what I hear. Mm. Perry, yeah, said. yeah. Perry said you were gonna crack that bottle of uh, Rip Ten that was sitting up in the cabinet. How'd that go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> that was actually nice. the thirteen-year rye, which would be even a bigger travesty. <laughs> oh. travesty. No, what was the travesty? Is we turned around and went, oh, the LMDW is upstairs. That's oh. right. <laughs> Thanks. Is this Lil's? Yes. Okay. That's Chris's. Uh, Thanks, Perry. Do you need these Tribeca's? Mm -mm. Thanks, Perry. We're good. Thanks, Perry. All right. So, so we had a little sip of the uh, of our, our regular bland single barrel. So, mm -hmm. oh, we'll was that just to bring your palate online? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Just give us something to talk about our talking control juice. bourbon. That's what we're used to mm -hmm. here in the states. The ninety three proof, of course. Now this is the green. So this is your alls. So this is exclusive to yes. Australia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, 80 proof, six year. 80 proof, Blanton. six year blends. Okay. So this is really cool. Chris did this. This is the uh, seal. I love it. Yeah. yeah. We we decided to dip the bottles. I like that a lot. Yeah, it made it made it a lot easier for bringing them over on airplanes. Okay. Yeah. So tell so. what you were telling me yesterday about how there's a certain amount that you can bring with you, and anything on top of that you have to pay, like you a tax on, right? A fee. Oh, taking home we can we can take. Three bottles home. You can take three bottles home, but when you come here, uh, you well, can bring whatever you want. Well, well, to a point. It's five liters <laughs> is the TSA rule, and it's, okay. it's actually coming back home as well. And so you just can't take more. So than that. no, no. Okay. Uh, otherwise, TSA will take it off you. Uh, um, so I lied. <laughs> uh, more than likely. <laughs> 
Jeez, I, I mean, that would be... Think of how depressing that would be. He wants it. I'm good. Yeah. I'm only having a little bit, because okay. I'll be driving a little right, later, right. so... <laughs> gives you something to have a little later just, on. Yeah, I'll just leave it in the bottle. Um, What's wrong with that? And if you don't like it, just... <laughs> but could never, you, <laughs> never with a bourbon. Could never. you imagine coming all the way over here and like say, you know, you find a bottle in some off the beaten path little liquor store that you can't get at home and you've got your bottles and you think, oh, I can take whatever I want home and you show up and TSA takes them? No, we did that in our second trip over in 2012 no. when... Um, but they didn't take them. No, no, they didn't oh. take them. It was it was more a case of I've been talking with UPS and FedEx mm -hmm. over here about shipping them home. Mm, okay. And oh yeah, we can do that for you, no problem at all. So I had forty seven bottles which I'd collected round through mm -hmm. um, Kentucky, and then we went down to Memphis uh, on our way down to New Orleans mm -hmm. and went to the FedEx office and. Because I knew we couldn't ship out of Kentucky. Right, you have to ship out of state. Had to be out of, out, out of state. Mm -hmm. um, and when we got in there, they went, oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, where's your liquor license? <gasps> uh oh. And it was, uh, you didn't say that anywhere in this letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in my other trousers. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you do? Um, we end up having to buy uh, an extra couple of suitcases down in, in New Orleans. Wow. Uh, luckily we were, we got bumped up to business class to fly home. So mm -hmm. we got three 70 pound suitcases. Nice. Um, uh, each. So we had 140, 150 pounds of clothing, 150 pounds of alcohol. <laughs> we, we posted a lot of clothing I back that it. year, uh, from New Orleans. Um, nice. Nice. And wow. uh, yeah, managed to get it <laughs> all back home with only one bottle breaking. So, oh, yeah. Yikes. and luckily that was that was a, a, a an old, a very old uh, a Jefferson small batch. Okay, mm. so it was only something which was twenty nine dollars. Right, I was, right, I was happy about that. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. If you're gonna lose one. So let's so. talk about this eighty mm. proof here. What were you guys getting on the nose? I mean. I didn't really get anything on the nose on yeah. this one. It's really light, like it's, compared it's to very light what compared we just tried. Really. This yeah. this is what we introduce a lot of people back home to drinking straight. And I think that's mm. a really good introductory, like, mm. you know, it's not... Because people are used to having mixes and everything, so yeah. they're not getting that overpowering with it, so... Yeah. And I, I think it's a good, like, taste profile for them, but over here it seems like when people get introduced to bourbon, they're like, oh, I they pick bottom shelf stuff to get introduced because they're like, well, this is what everyone starts out drinking Evan mm -hmm. Williams Black Label. And I'm like, but as an adult, we can we can find you something else. Like, I think that's what everyone started yep. drinking in college to get into bourbon, not like mm. in your adult life. <laughs> this is, um, yeah. It's got it's a more, very light it's, caramel. Yeah, it's, it's more it's, muted. Oh, that's so yeah. Since we were just wild. having the, the USA version, the 93 proof, so this is 13 which, which we less. Which we get back home, but and cheaper than you guys. Really? Jeez. This this is fifty two to fifty five dollars Australian. Uh -huh. We get the original for about seventy two Australian. Huh. And when you th consider it's about seventy two US cents to the Australian dollar, so drop that down by about say down <laughs> to three quarters. And then carry the three. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So okay. <laughs> you're talking maybe around about the fifty. Dollars wow. US, 50, so how so come 50, 55 US. You all get your own version of Blanton's. We're and special. you can buy the original <laughs> version of Blanton's. And we can buy the gold and we can buy the straight from the barrel. That's not fair because it's made. Ooh. It's made 40 <laughs> minutes from here. So, actually, I don't think I knew that. You can get the straight from the barrel and the, and the gold yes. in Australian mm -hmm. yeah, stores. Off the shelf. Yeah. Off the shelf. In your He's pissed. <laughs> You come I, am, I am fest. <laughs> I will. I might need to stay on your couch. I know. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we were talking about that last night, and I was like, but I'm afraid of the spiders. And she was like, oh, oh they don't bite. They don't and bite like, you. I mean, they are probably as big as your head. But yeah, but like if I saw one of those on the ceiling, I would. It's the drop bears you got to wear. Yeah, I love it. that you call them that. They're so cute. <laughs> Except well, people, people who see them don't. They don't call no, them cute. They don't no, call them no, cute. They're, they're, no. they're, they're yeah. dangerous. Yeah. Um, so not cute. I mean, and then you got the really dangerous one, which was Humphrey Bieber. He was very dangerous. <laughs> if you can get the straight from the barrel and the gold mm -hmm. and the original, mm -hmm. why even have the green? 
It, it, it was the one that a first story, came in. But you have to okay. talk to yeah. John Shute from. Well, he used to be the Blanton's rep, but he works for mixtures now, and he's got a great right. story. Well, and he okay. was he was yeah. um, pretty heavily involved with Green coming into Australia. Oh. So. Mm. Well, la di da. Someone to know. <laughs> okay. He I, is a great fellow to know. I mean, I do think that this is like there's nothing wrong with this. I think it's great for a beginner. Yeah, and it just like I want what we were just having cool. instead. Like if this is just that turned down. I'm like, no, turn it back up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's no, interesting. No. And I, actually, I'm glad that we saved this little bit because we have a friend at work. His name's Jeb, and he's just now getting into bourbon. And he's found that he likes Blanton's and Elmer T. Lee, mm-hmm. <laughs> like two of the you know harder things to get. Um, but anything else, like I give it to him, he's like, ah, oh, oh, it's so hot, ah. Oh. Mm. So I wonder if the eighty yeah, proof. Yeah, he, 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 he would. Prefer. Yeah, he would go, if go he for would that. Be crazy over it. So yeah, we'll Let's, have to yeah, we'll mark that. that for for Jeb. Mm. Interesting. All the name of science. But then you'll give it to him. He'll go. Oh, this is really great. Where can I get a bottle? <laughs> and like, um, Australia. Australia. <laughs> Australia. I don't know. Mate. I feel like he finds ways to <laughs> make things better. Yeah. So you're getting better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Been around. You guys. Don't, don't, don't encourage, encourage him. Yeah. Because it'll only go downhill once we leave. That's true. It will. He's just gonna. I, I do not need to be watching lives at five in the morning. Going, no, Chad, no. <laughs> yeah. You've probably seen uh, Chris in in the chat before. He'll he'll pop on. and will say, hey, Chris, and it's like what five a.m. Five a.m. There five a.m. Yeah. Yeah. for you guys. Yeah. So yeah. early. That's commitment. Here he is in the flesh. <laughs> It's only easy because we probably have to be up for work. So. Mm-hmm. And Lil is actually one of our patrons. I am. So yes. thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I just supply bourbon to you. I, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Is, well, there's, is, there's I, I supply another habit. Appreciated some, some and ways welcomed. to contribute to the channel, and we appreciate all methods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially after contributing last year with the LMDW. Oh, which, yes. Which we're going to get to in two bourbons. Three. Ooh. Two. Whether you're holding one. Well, well present bourbon excluded. Okay. <laughs> so, this is... Yay. Did you need to do a rinse or anything? I or? just did a rinse. Okay. I'm good. Excellent. Excellent. Sorry, that no, just came out that way. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, what is it? Cut they want to know now. what they want to know what you drink at five a.m. when you hop on the live. Well, it depends. Coffee. Yeah, if, if 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 it's um if I've been on night shift, um, I'm still at work, so mm. I'm not drinking anything, boss. I'm not. Sorry, I can't um, pour for you all. Coffee maybe. Um, but yeah. Five's a little bit early to start, mm. even though it's ten o'clock in the morning somewhere in the world. Well, it's three somewhere. o'clock in the afternoon in Kentucky, so that's it. <laughs> but um, on a Sunday, it's three p.m. Sunday. on Sunday somewhere. It's Ge- not a bad generally, time. Generally, generally, um, if I'm on a day off uh, on the Monday, which because it is Monday when we, um, mm, that's right. We we get the podcast. Um, I've already got some. Oh, you've already got some. Yes. He would just pour extra. himself another one. Uh, an extra try. Pour one for Max. I guess right. we do. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Max? Max, Max should sure be up in here. Oh, for Max. Here you go. Max. There we go. He travels a lot. He's he drunk travels. already. Yeah. yeah. He's he had too much fun on the podcast. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Actually, he was in the pack. Oh. Uh oh. So we know who did it. Hmm. So the original, I guess I just call this original. Yeah, right. yeah. that's what we yeah, call that's it. That's what we call it. Yeah. We, we, actually, it's called Original Reserve. Over yeah, there. It has a different label. We've got, yeah. we've got a oh, diff- slightly different label yeah. because the story is how it, the green is called Special Reserve. Okay, Special so Reserve. So it was sort of like, well, you can't really have, well, what's the difference? Why is it special, but it's less than the original, so it had to become original. Original Reserve. Back reserve. Home. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Quit creeping around, Perry. You're being weird. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Presents. There's no room for me, Chad. I know. <laughs> what, am I, what do I do with it? I uh, hold on to it, and I'll pick it up this week. Oh, okay. Oh, say, Thanks, Perry. Cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. What a gentleman. So, and a scholar. From what you can recollect, <laughs> does this taste different than the one you get? It shouldn't, because it's the it's exact same, same proof being 93. So do they uh, do they bottle it and then send it over, or is it the... Yeah, it's bottled and sent over. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so ev- not... Everything's bottled over at BT. So. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. So yeah, it shouldn't have any reason But have, have you actually noticed a difference in the bottles? Well, they one's did, a 750, one's cha- a 700. No, but they did actually change the bottles just the other year and gave them a slightly longer neck. Really? To, um... Bye, guys. Bye, Bye, Bye Harry. Harry. Sorry, yep. I'm making noise. You're fine. <laughs> Drive home and, and start moderating. I, 
<laughs> See, that's a bit hairy. Um, no, I didn't know that. But yeah, they're, they're, they're slightly different um, bottles now. Mm-hmm. And it's just for shipping from everything we've told. Oh. Give a little bit more volume to the bottle. Because it was the whole thing with corks popping. popping. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Had which which we had happen on, uh, well, not completely popped, but one of the straight from the barrels we brought over last year. The cork actually lifted a little and the cork actually oxidized from the alcohol from the the actual horse, the horse. oxidized Whoa. from the alcohol vapor coming out at wow. altitude and probably we lost a third of the bottle no no i mean i've had a bottle pop in my car yeah mm-hmm. i mean the heat but, but i guess um, there's air pressure right yeah that's it yeah yikes Dang. but lucky we know a few people at Buffalo Trace, and mm-hmm. uh, we got a new new stopper seal and, and a, a re, new re-waxed. Re-sealed. Oh at, wow! Yeah. At, well, at, they at didn't that add level, at the level, right. yeah, yeah. at that right. level. But they did, you know, they, the QA guys went through. They double checked it's a real bottle, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's, nice. it's it's a it's a process to get it done uh, for oh, us to get it done. Sure. But it was wow. really really good of the guys at BT to do that for us. That was so nice. Thank you. Um, Absolutely. So if you, you need a. Yeah, I feel like you're my new connection. <laughs> <laughs> they have more connections than we do. It's, let's be yeah, honest. we were yeah. talking about that last night. Um, so I mean, thirteen points higher. Mm. I do enjoy this more than the green. Yeah, mm-hmm. Th- this is what we tend to go to as okay. a bit more of an everyday. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Drinker. I will um, say, Perry forgot to give us water refills, and he did not bring me a snack. And I'm a little bit mad about that. What I mean, you, you just with him? you can't good, get good service anymore. No. Like, it, <laughs> I'm not just totally him distracted him. by his own podcast. Honestly, yeah. I am not giving him a five star. He just review. podcasts and <laughs> run. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is for us. It's all familiar. Hmm. It's um, it's I think one of those bourbons that when you're stepping up in your journey. Like, you know, you've graduated to, let's say, Woodford Reserve, because that's like the first $30 bottle usually people get over here. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I got something special. And you pull out blends. Like, nowadays, it actually would be special because it's so hard to get. But, you know, back when we were coming up. I mean, it still was the special bottle. Yeah, it's like, oh, you spent like $55 on that. Are you sure I can have some? You know, it's kind of like blends is the next obvious choice of... I'm getting a little more serious about this bourbon drinking thing, you know? Yeah. And uh, so Yeah, that's that's up around about the 80, 85 at home. Oh, that's when yeah. you're starting to get a little bit more serious. Well, yeah. sure, yeah. So. Well, nowadays, I mean, the, the landscape has changed so much just in the past two to three years. Right. And, I mean, you know? it's so anytime someone does a limited release, like, you would just expect it to be over $100. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And they often are, mm. as you all well know. Now, if mm-hmm. you guys... Don't want to finish anything. Don't feel like you have to. We'll get some because we do have some extra glasses. Oh, we, we don't believe in wasting. Okay. Well, we don't. We sometimes just finish them off camera later. Oh, like yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, no, yeah, when you're cooking. Cooking. Yeah, yeah, when I'm cooking. Yeah, when I'm cooking. When you're cooking grannies. Yeah. See, today I'm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. So That's exactly right. As I pour the gold, um, can you all tell us about Wild Turkey over in Australia? Because you just said the Blantons all gets bottled in Frankfurt and shipped over <laughs> to Australia. Careful, Sarah. But I'm struggling. You're, 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 you're cut off already, Sarah. Honestly, yeah. what are you going to be oh, like when we get up? My mom's watching and she's embarrassed. Hi, Pam. Me. She's Hi, Pam. Pam. <laughs> um, we, we do exist, Pam. <laughs> yeah, they're real. Um, but yeah, but wild turkey is a different story. So if you kind of enlighten. Uh, the audience about wild turkey in Australia. Sure. So wild turkey gets re-bottled in Australia. Well, actually, it gets bottled, not re-bottled. It gets sorry, ship, sorry. shipped over in um, like a stainless stainless container? steel yeah. containers. Yeah, so yeah. sort of like, sort of like big oil tanker. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, gasoline tankers or mm-hmm. milk tankers. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, milk. Um, that, that's how much we and drink. And I guess it's so you know, like you, they don't get the Jefferson's effect of you can't ship it in the barrels because mm. then you it's, get the right the. <laughs> ocean and the extra aging and whatever yeah yeah it's it's basically in stainless steel so right. it comes over just as it was meant to but it, it comes over at barrel strength and then gets cut mm. so they cut it with it australian extra. water yeah australian limestone water i'm sure well, well it's the filtered water yeah. is there much limestone over there i have no down, idea down <laughs> <through. Okay. laughs> A, a friend of ours who's a geologist would probably be able to tell you it's just Tazzy, straight if you're watching yeah, can you let us know off the top of your head. <laughs> Hmm. Um, so it's oh, turkey over there. You don't 
really care for, right? The, of that? Well, uh, the wild turkey in Australia is, I don't know, it, there's something about it, but... Uh, <laughs> like she was going to catch that. <laughs> it hit my palm and bounced. <laughs> <laughs> I am not fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, something about it makes me have the turkey scratch in my head the next morning. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. We, we have what are called scrub turkeys. Okay. Back home. Um, so they're a little turkey and they go around and they scratch up all the, the leaves and everything and they make a mound nest and that's what they nest in your backyard. And um, hmm. that's yeah. Really so it's, yeah, it's, it's, be afraid of something, be afraid of a scrub turkey. Yeah. Oh, really? They'll, they'll chase okay. you around. Oh, Are they no. friends with drop bears? <laughs> drop bears. Yeah. Do they pal around? No. Do they go on a wolf so about? Is that what you, you, you get real scared if a drop bear falls on a, 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 a scrub, scrub turkey nest. <laughs> no, that's an exciting that, that's day. That's a fight. Mm. That so, sounds like a bad yeah. day. Yeah. Because mm. drop bear is what you call a koala. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does everyone call them that? Or is that no, just an well, inside No, well, they're, they're, they're a special koala. Oh, yeah. a special it's koala. A, it's an, an urban myth. Oh, So it's like I the jackal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. Like that, yeah. Drop bear. Yeah, they're, they're, they're well, a they... blood, blood feeding, meat eating koala bear. Koala bears oh. do actually oh. fall out of trees, though. Yeah. Oh. They, they're Which generally is, think, drunk. Where the drop bear comes from. Okay. So, yeah. I like that Because you call the eucalyptus them that, is. <laughs> An alcohol. alcohol? Yeah. 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 Okay. Drunk on it. Yeah. Okay. They're, 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 they're 99 percent of their day they are drunk. Anytime. That's why. So last night Sarah said that a koala bear is her spirit animal. Did I? Oh, you did. Oh, because they're all. I, 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 I would believe that after last night, Sarah. I yes. believe that yeah. too. Perry got here today and he said, "Oh, you were having fun last night." And I was like, "Oops." Yep. <laughs> Oops. Well, you always know you went too far. Well, we know that we're blaming Ch uh, Chad for that earlier in uh, him opening that bottle of drink. Early in the day when you're getting ready for that's what it was. Oh, that's it right. Was yeah, your well, it, it, it yeah. pretty much once, all. once, once you, you had the one, there, yeah. there. Yeah. Um, cheers to the mash and drum. Oh, yeah. thank super you, mash and drum. Oh, guess what yeah, that means? Super chat. No, here we go. Oh. It means oh. the Australians get to do a little cowbell for us. Oh. Do this, and it'll be a little quieter. <laughs> or that end. <laughs> 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 awesome. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Ah, thank, thank you, you Mash and Drum. That. Yeah, that, that came so with nice. an Australian accent, that one. Yeah. <laughs> if you could say Mash and Drum in your thickest Australian accent, that'd be great for him. Mash and Drum? Mash yeah. and Drum. Mash and Drum. Yeah. That was disappointing. It's not like how I say Australia. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> yeah. We're going back to Australia, everybody. Um, so, Blanton's Gold is what we're on. It's mm -hmm. 103 proof. 103, yes. yep. That's right. yes. And it is, oh, that's right. We brought, well, we kind of already showed Well, them. yeah, we can show them the bottle, we, yeah. which we've got we for a, a friend of ours. Showed it before you all came up, but we were saying that this is, it's and you all agree, the prettiest, that's yeah, what we said the prettiest too. of the Blanton, Blanton's bottles. Um, yeah, written, printed on the bottle, gold, gold horse. This is the only, is this the only different? Yes. Of a horse. Oh well, yeah. there, there well, was the silver, which Japanese was in, silver in Japan. So that's the black. No, no, no. no, no. There was it's there was a version. silver. Silver version. Oh, they called it silver. And, and that was a one hundred proof. Oh. And, and it it's not available. But it had a no, silver horse. Oh. No, it's it's, it's a horse? silver horse. Silver, silver horse. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Hmm. So not like. And it's not available anymore. They don't do it anymore. They oh. only do the black now. Well, that's Japan, so. that's sad. Hmm. But this is what it looks like. And this is going to some other lucky. Yeah. Well, we were lucky when we did a whatever Blanton's flight with LBS a couple of years ago. We we brought over a, a, a grain of gold mm. straight from the barrel, mm -hmm. and mm. someone else sourced the oh, black, so and someone else sourced uh, I think Matt Preston sourced the, so the silver. Uh, the, no, he got oh. the black, I think. Uh, John mm. Shute brought a 20th, 30th, anniversary, 30th anniversary, I think it was, oh. and the Dang. silver. Wow. So we Where had we? we had seven lanterns yeah. for a vertical that night. Um, That's that lovely. that was a good night. So this is ten proof. Points higher now that we've stepped up from the regular yep. old mm -hmm. uh, it, original this is my favorite reserve. Mm. Other than LMDW, mm. but so how much does this set you back uh, off the shelf? These are, these are 108, 108 oh. okay. Australian roughly. Okay. Okay. So it's about 77, 78 mm -hmm. US. I, I mean, pay that. Mm. So it's good. It's really good. Mm. Right? Fre freight's a lot more expensive though, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We I discussed mean, that last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these conversations they didn't stick with me. 
I vaguely remember really that conversation. <laughs> but so far, of the three, this is definitely the favorite. Oh, oh. yes, you I get agree so with much that. more ca- um, toffee and caramel out of yep. this. Yeah. So forward, yeah. But um, it just lingers on the tip of the tongue. Yeah, mm. it's got a great tongue punch. It, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's oh, yeah. more. It's been a while since you used that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's more front and middle of the tongue. I feel like mm-hmm. you guys I, get I, that too. I don't consider it a, a tongue punch. It just glazes the tongue and just. Well, it's sits a light there. punch. It's like a friendly. I think it's like a, <laughs> a gentle it's caress. A it's a boob. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. more of a caress than a punch. I'm is gonna, aggressive. I'm gonna wait to see what you have to say then for the straight from the barrel. Gentle yeah. caress. Uh, a gentle yes. caress mm. of blends. That's on your more. Of a, yeah, that, that's getting See, slapped. I should write the little cards that go around the neck. That's more of a, a cuddle with this a struggle. This 103 proof bourbon will gently caress your tongue. <laughs> But, but it goes too quickly, because look. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it's it's, yeah, oh, I yeah. just like, people keep saying DAG, D-A-G, ask what it is. Oh, you're a DAG. <laughs> they said, someone said, don't you dare say Chad is DAGGY today, and I don't know what that means. DAGGY? DAGGY. D-A-G-G-Y. Yeah, 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 it's more like nerdy or like... <laughs> <laughs> But then there's yeah. also the literal of what a dag oh. is too, which we won't get on there. Okay. Well, you it's, can. I mean, it's, well, it's, 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 it's basically, it's basically something that mm-hmm. hangs off the back of a sheep. But oh, but, okay. Yeah. A sheep's butt. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we're learning today. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's literal. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Today. Yeah, it's Ooh. yeah. What bourbon so, would I pair with pork belly? Oh. Mm. Okay, so I would definitely do something non-filtered because of the fattiness of the pork belly and the fattiness like of the, you know, oils. Um, but what would it be? New one for you. Thank you. Mm, I don't think it could be too smoky or spicy. New one for Sarah. I I got it. I got one. Yeah. No. Okay, Sarah. Oh, okay. I think. Maybe, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with Elijah Craig barrel proof. Like, it is barrel proof, mm-hmm. but the flavors aren't so aggressive, but, but I'm trying to think. I think the, Maybe uh, Booker's? the, the mm, Double Double Oak had a great, Ooh. it yeah. tasted savory, and it tasted like barbecue, so I think yeah. with, uh, what was the food? Pork belly. Pork belly. I think it would jive pretty well with pork belly. But, yeah. is it filtered? What? The Woodford. I'm sure it is. I don't know if it's actually. Well, the du- I want the a non chill filter. The double, the double I could uh, <gasps> just has that extra note to it with that. Yeah, um, yeah. true. I don't know about its filtering. The second steps. barrel line. Yeah. yeah. So those would be our suggestions. Yeah. Hmm. So. All right. Sorry so to see you go, Gold. But you um, go. Now, Sarah, um, you might have to reach the uh, Maison. Because I don't know if I can. Mm, reach is it. that where we're going next? Yep. Woo! Woo! Sarah's excited. Sarah, the, <laughs> Sarah's been waiting for this. I have been. Yeah. Because we're about 12. 12 minutes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, this it is the bottle we brought over t- last year. Time flies when you're yeah. pouring the blends. Yeah. So Chris and Lil brought this over last year. <sighs> Melt. For oh. me, and Sarah <laughs> fell in love with it. <laughs> She's going to leave you for anybody who's going to a bottle of bourbon. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then we ended up staying together, but when the bottle's finished, I'll probably yeah, go she's, on and well, be on my yeah, way. Yeah, because you have your own bottle now. <laughs> right. I have my own bottle now. I don't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need... Normal. Yes, we, we we did bring over another bottle for Sarah. Yeah. It's from the same Thank batch, you. same barrel. <gasps> Which is crazy. That's so. even hard to do, like, here, just at a liquor store. Yeah, I don't know how you did that, but... That's crazy. Like a year apart. Just lucky. Talented. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got to thank my friend Jose, who actually brings it into a try oh, form. yes. Thank you. So, 120 you, proof mm. is where we're living now. Mm. It's a bit of a step up. Mm. I, I do have the... Oh, it smells so good. Well, I meant to get the 110 this year. But um, mm. it actually got sold on me. Oh, well. There was a bit of miscommunication. Yeah, a bit of miscommunication. <laughs> it happens you, uh, at times. Can that for me, please? Yes. <laughs> Put the horse back on. Here. No, Sarah said that this bottle's getting empty today. <laughs> yeah. We're going to drink. Doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can leave it up there. Yeah, we'll leave it for up there. For the folks. Thank you for turning off football to watch this. So. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, the NFL. That is right. a yeah. big compliment. Yeah, that, that's Thank big. you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. I guess we better turn up the uh, charm mm. then, huh? <laughs> um, this is what people have been waiting for. Right. The oh, other Australian thing I wanted to ask about mm-hmm. was Jim Beam under 80 proof. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now, how, because we all know the laws of bourbon, how can it be under 80 proof and they still put bourbon on the label? Again, it's shipped over by container and it's cut in Australia. 
So, so it, it can't be bottled in so it's the not US under. Technically, but technically it's not. No, I always have a bit of a thing with Fred Fred Knight. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's definitely All the label. time. He says that, you know, Australia's up there. They've got the number one selling bourbon in Australia. And I always give Fred a hard time. So. You always are like, but it's, so it's not. What's the, what's the exact proof? Yeah, 37.5%. 37. 37.5%. So 70. 78. Uh, 70, 77. 75. Okay, 77, what's that? 77, 30. yeah, it's about 3%. Okay, okay, so about 77%. 7. And that's, they couldn't, I mean, I know you're, you're taxed on proof over there, so it means they're saving some money, but they couldn't put in that extra three proof to some and, and, 80? And we do 700s, not 750. Right, 700 milliliters. So this is a 700. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. it cost forty five dollars for that to but start with. So if you put that taxes, extra three percent in, yeah. so this is the regular old four bumping. year white label, white label. Yep. Jim Beam, yeah, yep. cooking bourbon, yeah. Sorry, Fred, but cooking <laughs> bourbon, yeah. But the black label is forty. But yeah. What's black label over here? Forty three. Uh, yeah, uh, eighty six proof. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm just having a moment no. over here. <laughs> like, I've been just sitting over here like... I was just sipping, like, even kind of just, almost just quasi forgetting thinking. what was like, in my yeah. I just start drawing LMDW it... <laughs> in my notebook with a heart. And then, it's, and then it soaks in. Now, how many people have watched our recap of the Austin video? Because Sarah tries a different Les Maisons du Whisky. No. Um, it was a straight from the barrel. Oh, was it? Oh, no, it was a late maison du whiskey. Maison du whiskey you were telling yeah, us last night. Us last night. Is that what I said? Yeah. yeah. No, I probably yeah. did. Okay, you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I edited. You edited the footage. <laughs> I know. Well, it was. I was drinking don't, don't both times, down. so it okay. didn't have a pretty label like this, but it was. It was like a 2015. Uh, okay. 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 Old top. I forget the proof, but. Oh, that's right. Yes. And you yes, drink yes. it, and you're like, it's really good, but I still love mine better, and. <laughs> Which was brave. It made of her. it made James sad. He yeah. went in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Made a grown man cry. James. Well, I do that on but a this, weekly basis. Uh, <laughs> I, I just love how this just changes on, in, on the palate. Yeah, it's a roller coaster yeah. ride mm. of flavor. It's so good. And it's got a real nice long finish. Great Kentucky hug. Mm. Um, if you ever have the means to pick up a pick from that store in France. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do I yeah. can't. Absolutely. Do it. Now this is a pricey bottle, around 150, I believe. Well, that was that was our price to you, which was what I got it for back home. A very nice price. Yeah. A very. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd hate to know what it'd go for the secondary market. No, out here I don't know. I mean, do it 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 and considering like what we paid for that larceny barrel proof, like I would take this every day oh, over yeah. that. But oh, yeah. again, well, neither you can find on the shelf, but still. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, it was much harder to get. A little harder, little harder, harder, yeah. little harder yeah. to get. Huh? Of those unicorns that you can't find anywhere. Mm. I like this unicorn. <laughs> yeah. um, this one has a Joseph prettier horn. Here. Yes. <laughs> Joseph's in the chat. Oh, hey, Joseph. Hey, hey Joseph. Hi. What's up? Joseph? And uh, someone requested that you do the Christopher Walken wow that Chad does. He does Whoa. That. But I don't know if you're up for it. You know the, what it is. Mean, the, the, the wow. The wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't even do it. Which, when I do the wow, it's almost more, what is it, Barbarelli? Barbar uh, from Welcome Back, Cotter. Um, See. Uh, forget his name. <laughs> Something like that. The John Travolta. John Travolta. John Travolta's character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Welcome Back, Cotter. Yeah. Wow. You know, he kind of does that biz. Yeah, my walking always goes in that direction. Just for the wow. Yeah. But everything else. We've talked about this You've before. Got to do Chad's that. impressions start. Wow. That was, was a good one. That was, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was good. a good one. Wow. <laughs> you talking to me all wrong. You know, just drinking here with the Aussies. It's, it's Christopher it's walking. Great. It's great. It's Christopher running. <laughs> These boots were made for Christopher walking. <laughs> anyway, this is good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Glad we got we'll, through we'll that. We'll stop that now. <laughs> Uh, Someone mm. posted, uh, Eric Schwab said, How doth thou whiskey? And I just pictured a t shirt and I thought that was really funny. How doth thou whiskey? How doth thou whiskey? I like that. <laughs> May I use it? <laughs> How many? Uh, we got four clean ones left? E I can just reuse this one. Oh, yeah. oh, well, Max is sitting on a clean one. Oh, he's sitting oh, okay. on a clean one. Yeah. All right, good. So we'll yes. do another fresh one for his butt in it. How much just straight from the barrel. <laughs> we got a couple minutes left. We got about five minutes left. Mm. So, as we prepare this next one... Well, while you're doing that... You're going to have to reach, Sarah. What? Straight from the barrel. Well, while you're doing... We're doing that. Yes. Okay. You've, um... Did you show any of the other samples we brought? They're right over there. Room? They're basically the same 
um, you know, to them this would look the same. But yeah, yeah we had some turkey. Uh, the tradition, mm-hmm. tradition, the, yeah, the fourteen year tradition, and the eighteen ninety four, eighteen ninety four, mm-hmm. which is a master's keep that it's only sold over in Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's uh... <laughs> that bottle right there. Oh, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> look at that! Oh, it's I beautiful. really hope that that co- that pitch comes through <laughs> <laughs> perfectly it was pitch perfect thank you brooklyn bobby thank look you look at this the chat for fulfilling he gave the 499 for nice. fulfilling the uh cheers <laughs> for the for the the wow wow <laughs> oh that is so lovely thank you so much this is mm, yeah oh now chad's got a cuddle bottle now he's got a cuddle <laughs> bottle yeah now we each have a cuddle uh, bottle I, I hate to know what you're going to be like if I bring you over a bottle of seventeen ninety five next year, oh. I'm just a taste of it. Yes, approximately twenty seven drinks. This is a seven. <laughs> Not the way that you pour. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not the way we pour. So that's weird. This is a seven fifty. So yes. seven hundred. Because it was bottled over here. Mm. So it's, it's not a, some here. law that if it's sold in Australia, it has to be seven hundred. Mm. It, it varies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's bizarre. Charles Harkness. Cheers. Oh, Thanks cheers, for Charles. the super chat. Yeah. We got a uh, oh. cowbell needed. Cowbell oh, is needed. Cowbell. And I'll start pouring the... Uh, I'm going to do one. Lil's going to do one. The straight from the barrel? Yeah. To the... Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, ear oh, bud oh, people. We're, we're clipping. Chris is going to do one. Just Brandon, you're funny. You're funny guy. I like it. And Sarah's going to do one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a that, that, Whoa. I was kind of weak. Mm. You, you woke up the stray from the barrel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Are you awake? I'll just keep this over here. Oh. So I figured, figure right. you'll like that uh, bottle of. Oh my yes. Wild turkey. Oh my yes. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. yes. How, how unusual that would be, trade liking a bottle of wild turkey. Mm. <laughs> All right. No, aren't you oh, a Jim Beam fellow? He oh, does. Well, I'm a lot of fellow. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Really? Heaven Hill, yeah. okay. I mean, just, Wild just, Turkey. Just a lot of Chad to go around. Yeah, yeah, Evan Williams, yeah. Um, yeah. I love a lot of bourbons. Okay. And then one for me. Even the non-nutty ones. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty. You poured, I think, a little more conservatively than I did. Whoops. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, oh, well. So this is all the straight from the barrel. Um, and this what's is... Ooh, someone's got some sass. <laughs> Hold on, you. Um, Wait, Chris is his glasses. I've got my glasses. Doug, I'll, I'll uh, name these March, days. March fifth, twenty fourteen. Barrel number three eighty four. Warehouse age rig eleven. One thirty point nine proof. One thirty point nine. Yum yum yum. And this this is the uh, bottle which I only just mm. opened to <gasps> do this taster. So yeah, because the other bottle we already had open. It had been. I'd had it open for a while, so it was sort of mm. gone. Might be a bit funky. Yeah, so it, it had lost a little bit, yeah. so I thought, no, I'll save that for us back home, and oh. I'd, I'd open up the new bottle to well, bring over. So. Thank you. We appreciate that greatly. This, so this is our highest proof of the afternoon, 130.9. It doesn't give off the air of it in the nose, you know? It just mm. smells just no, like this smells, great caramel, yeah, yeah um, kind of like a caramelized sugar brittle type of... Uh, Thing going yeah, on it's here. got a lot of sort of a, a peanut brittle sort of yeah going on. Yeah, 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 like just this uh, uh, almost like a creme brulee type of situation yeah. going on. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. All right, cheers, 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 folks. cheers. I I guess. <laughs> Do a proper cheers. Don't it's like one of those things where like, are we hugging? Are we not? Are we doing handshake? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do everything. Oh, that's nice. Good. It, there's a bit of heat at the front, but then it but just dissipates. Yeah, yeah. So and, like, but it's real toffee. Oh uh, yeah, it is. It's I real feel toffee. like one of the more perfect bourbons in the world would be like the heat of this with the flavors of that, <laughs> and I would be like, I, it being at this point, I've lived a full life. Like I've had it. <laughs> it exists. It's out there. I'm good. <laughs> we know it's different than like the Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof, mm-hmm. which I feel like is more barrel forward yes. yeah it's darker yeah. tasting mm-hmm. this is more just that oh the spice i feel you know it's like this spice that just um, kind of dances over the tongue i wouldn't call it a tongue punch either you know it's it's don't, a, don't want to put this away just yeah a, yeah a, a dance 
A dance over I'll the tongue. I'll do one better. Yeah, we'll, oh. we'll swap. Cracker time. Cracker time. Cracker time. <laughs> uh, so this, for anyone just joining, this is the straight from the barrel because we don't have the bottle Please. sitting out here. So um, this is 130.9. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes. I love these oyster crackers. They're so good. So good. Perfect yes. for your bourbon night. Mm. Oh, it's crazy. Why can't you get this here? I don't understand. Why? What are they so against? Trust me, we're not the first people to. Uh, I mean, you <laughs> asked Harlan. You we, asked Harlan Wheatley, and he was like. He said it's not impossible. <laughs> we, we can't understand your problem. We just go to the liquor store and buy it. I you know. know. Now. Yeah, there's no camping out or anything like that. No. We just walk into the store, and it's right there on the shelf. Where is straight from the barrel? It's not. A, I mean, it's it's in your all's neck of the woods, but mm -hmm. like Japan, Australia. You know, Europe. Where, where does it go to besides you all? I think that's it. Just yeah. Australia. No, Australia oh, no, and no, Europe. Australia and Europe. Yeah. Europe. And they do get okay. it in Japan as well. Mm. What we got? Uh, Gary. Thank, Gary. Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Cheers. Gary. Cheers. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I mean, you don't get you don't get the black, right? That's no, just I, Japan. That's just that's Japan. Japan. But you get like mm. everything else. Hmm. Hmm. So, and that's because a lot of people don't know that besides America, Australia is the second most bourbon we, Well, we, we <laughs> sort of flip-flop with Japan mm -hmm. and us. It okay. sort of changes regularly. So, so you're a, a big part of the market, and I guess they And have been for a lot of years. Rewarding when, you for yeah. it. Yeah, when, when it was... Let's go with that theory. Yeah. I like that theory. <laughs> when, sure. it, when it wasn't happening over here, we were what was keeping the distilleries going. So, so that's... Yeah. yeah. We get that every time we go to Which a distillery. Which we haven't officially thanked you yeah. for that. Thank you. We, thank we you get that. it all the time over at the... Mm -hmm. Any time we're in the distilleries. <laughs> You're from Australia? <laughs> thank you, because you kept our doors you open. You saved us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so no, wait, Australians awesome. like to drink? Mm. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? How, how unusual. <laughs> More than just Foster's? Oh, it's Australian for no, beer. It hasn't been Australian for beer since 1982, I think. Well. <laughs> the English owner. It is awful, awful stuff. Wait, well, what is it? It really is. Foster's. 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 Oh, yeah, it's everyone Foster's. talks about it. Foster's. Yeah, it's not, not an Australian beer anymore. No. It no. hasn't been <laughs> for a long, long time. What's, what's your Australian it, beer of choice? I don't drink beer, so... Um, <laughs> Australian, Australian beer, up, yeah. Right? Exactly. Australian beer. I like um, uh, my James Bogues Premium or the Cascade Premium Lagers. Tasmanian beer. Yeah. Tasmanian yeah. beer. They have that's amazing water. Yeah, that's where they. Oh, yeah. That's like where they do our, yeah. um, oh, okay. our our Australian whiskies are all done down in mm. in Tasmania or down around Melbourne. Mm. So. Oh, what? I can't Scooter. see it from over. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Goodness. Yeah. What's that? It's like... Light. $25. <laughs> do you want it? Oh, no. Well, $24.99. Yeah. How would we, how would we do it in Australia? We would have to do it upside down, right? Oh, yes. So, from a land down under. So land down. I come from a land down under. Right? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm. And we got no. it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when You got I the words them. right. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. That's Woo. as far as it goes, Chad. Oh, as goes. <laughs> but thank you. Who was that again? Uh, Scooter. Scooter. Thank Scooter. you, Scooter. Oh, thank you, Scooter. Scooter. 2D2. Thank you, Scooter. Scooter. And then Toon Van. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to. Scoot. I cannot Rouge? see that from here. I can't see from here, sorry. Oh. Chris Five euros. Glasses. No, I haven't got my glasses on, so it's not for me, really. Oh, euros. All right. Well, thank you from across yeah. the pond. Sweet. They're from across the pond as yeah. well. Yeah. Hmm. Here's to being Slightly across the pond. A bigger pond. But he is a question about yep. uh, barrel proof bourbon bought two bottles of Elijah Craig barrel proof of 138 proof it's too hot for me straight um Puts nice in that's it. not a question what's the question <laughs> um, couple of drops of water yeah just a few drops of yeah, water I would say nice. you know, or, or, or ice if you want to if you wanna allow it to it. bring down slowly yeah yeah often I think even just a chilled glass makes things a little bit yeah. easier. Yeah, that too. So just mm -hmm. put a glass in the freezer well, it, it, or the refrigerator. It gets condensation inside yeah, the glass. Yeah, condensation. Gives we'll it that it little bit of water that's, in. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, a big, a big block of ice so you can sip on it and find when you finally get to that proof that you're really enjoying. Yeah. Let it slowly melt instead of just a little ice cube. That's know? that's what the good thing is about a okay. yep. barrel proof. Yeah. Mm, it's finding, this, finding that level that you really so enjoy. <laughs> Eric says, is it wrong to drink bourbon like wine, right from the bottle? 
We've done it. <laughs> I'm guilty. There's a picture yeah. of me doing that at uh, yeah. Buffalo Trace last year. Yeah, in the car park. I think you've done yeah. it once on camera, Sarah. I mean, at least once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, That's an Australian thing to do, yeah. really. From the barrel? Or from the bottle? Straight from the bottle. <laughs> Drink it from the barrel? No, that, that'd be well, more fun. I, I can live that. <laughs> 700 pounds. No, you just got to sort of get yourself in under that little... What's the little shoot thingy when they pull uh, the barrels out? Oh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Freddie, if you're watching, uh, can we try that Tuesday? <laughs> um, yeah, when they dump the barrels, just yeah, put like a straw yeah. up where they dump yeah. them. Yeah, 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 do that. There's a great Simpsons quote when Barney wins a lifetime supply of duck beer. He goes, just hook it into my veins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that's my Barney. Absolutely. Um, so let me ask this mm -hmm. of the... One, two, three, four? We have four. Five. 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 Green, five. regular, gold, limousine. Yep, you're right. Straight from the barrel. Of the five, mm. what is everyone's favorite? Starting with... LMDW. Okay, Chris? Yeah, it's tight between the LMDW followed by the 103. The 103 oh, cool. is just, just for an everyday drinker, the 103 mm. is fantastic. It is a really good everyday drinker. Sarah. And it's, it's easy to get back on. Okay. I mean, don't insult me and stuff. The limousine. <laughs> for me... I'm going to say it's a tie between the Le Maison and the Straight from the Barrel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I love this high proof. Mm. This 130 is amazing. It is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love it. I didn't dislike mm. any of them. No. Nah. Oh, except for the grain, you sort of. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. We've, we've lost camera. But we, we got audio. We are in the dark. Yeah, we're in the dark uh -oh. again. Sorry. Dark. Who did this? Wait, where's he going? I... Continue? Continue. Oh, okay. We're, Don't leave. We, we, uh, we Don't adjust here. your monitors. Yeah. Um, so, the green, I mean, I'd the, like... The camera got upset about us all not liking the straight from the yeah. bottom. Yeah, I was so. like... We'll be right back. Um, no, I mean, the green is good. I just... It would be my least favorite of the day, only because I think the others are bringing a lot more heat and flavor. Yeah. Which and I we're appreciate. Back. And we're back. Yeah. Look at that. But the, the big thing, for as, as we said, with the green, it's that... Entry proof in bringing mm -hmm. people, it's something which is so good for introducing people to drink straight. Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened in a while. I but agree. I, I guess that battery wasn't at completely full charge. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's why, we, <laughs> that's why we try to keep it at an hour, but we were just having so much fun with our, right. with our mm. friends. Mm. Exactly. So, so we all what else our thing. is unique to Australia that, that is different than over here, bourbon wise? We've talked about the lower proof. Mm -hmm. We talked about the um, bottling it over there. Now that can differ. The seven hundred versus seven hundred and fifty. Well, our, our makers we is tax. yeah. Our uh, makers is eighty oh, proof. Yeah, makers, yeah. So makers what, is yeah. eighty. Mm -hmm. When when they they tried to do that over here. Yeah, once. yeah. They, mm -hmm. I, I remember <laughs> the uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember when they had the big thing on the ambassadors forums about. Oh, they're going to drop it down to 80, and I was putting up going, what are you complaining about? We've had 80 proof over here for about 15 years or so. Now, how do you feel about Makers? Love it. Really? But um, I don't drink it straight. It's um, mm. mixing bourbon. Yeah, it's a mi oh, okay. mixing mm -hmm. bourbon. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. except, for, except for the car strength. Oh, the right. strength you drink straight. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. All, and the private sure, sure. selection. I love the private selection. Sure, 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 Cool, 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 Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um... Any other like how's how's the Heaven Hill products over there? Your Elijah Craig's, Ooh. your uh, well, we, have, we we get we had the the twelve label for a lot longer than you guys did. What? Yeah, well, that's because it again it's they were supporting them in a time when we were no, well, no? it's more the fact that it it was a higher price, so most people will go in and they'll buy a bottle of Jim Beam White Lab because mm. you know forty odd dollars. Where you sit there and go forty dollars is a fairly Mid-range bourbon over here, yeah. and a uh, fairly a really good quality. Whereas that's basically your starter back home. <laughs> yeah, it's like your uh, we sit there Russell's Reserve. Yeah, or, uh, mm -hmm. your uh, and that's Jefferson's that's eighty or... eighty odd dollars back home for a Russell's. Wow. Mm. And we're not talking this single barrel. We're talking the regular. Two yeah, just yeah, the, just the regular. regular. Russell's Ouch. Reserve. Um, it's one hundred and twenty. So for you guys oh. yeah, continued. One hundred and twenty. You. Mm -hmm. Continued bourbon in its lowest period, mm. and you're paying a lot more than we are. Yeah, but that's how uh, that's how government taking taxes. Yeah. It's, it's, tax it's eighty eight dollars per ridiculous. alcoholic liter, roughly. Wow. And that's hundred percent alcohol. Wow. So you you drop that by point, you know, 
four for a, an eighty proof. Wow! But it works out to be about thirty three dollars, roughly, or so for import tax on a wow for like people bringing it in. Damn. Do you have many um, bottled and bonds over there? Not a lot. No. No, actually, we don't really. Dang. We That's have rough like, for um, moving outside of the U.S. What is bottled? Yeah, bond it's, there? it's a. I mean, even um, in the U.S., it's harder to we, find stuff now more than ever. Yes, we go home and okay. we go home and cry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you go home and cry. <laughs> Yeah, we do. We walk we, in two uh, years straight from the barrel. We, <laughs> we walk in and oh yeah, that's that's the only thing that makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we um, walk in and like in our big biggest chain, Dan Murphy's over home. Um, shameless plug. It's like yeah, shameless plug. <laughs> um, but there's like only maybe two three racks of bourbon, mm. and it's about five shelves high. Mm. Um, that's, it. that's it. Yeah. I walk in there and I go, no, this is what a bourbon collection is. This is liquor barn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, sorry. That's just one side. <coughs> and that's the other side. side. And here's the middle sh- uh, middle thing. And yeah. here's everything at the register. So what's yeah. the most popular liquor in Australia? Is it bourbon? Mm-hmm. Probably, well. It varies, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've got a lot of a lot of bourbon drinkers. We've got a lot of scotch drinkers. A lot of people drink uh, Bundaberg rum. Mm. back home and rums but cocktails are pretty big back home as well okay. these days right. and, and have been for a, a long time wow um yeah. but um yeah high-end bourbon's starting to really make a presence because we're starting to get a lot of bur- uh, whiskey bars now mm-hmm. uh we've got the number one whiskey bar back home oh. hi ryan and yeah ryan <laughs> lane back uh, in, uh, friend, uh, friend back in brisbane runs, runs, runs yes. the gresham in brisbane mm-hmm. nice um, it's one the, yeah. <laughs> um, so, but then we've got some really big whiskey bars down in Melbourne, mm. um, and they really down. started the whole re- the whole thing. Uh, Brian actually came up from Melbourne from one of the the big whiskey bars down there. Nice, nice. Okay. and um, it's really brought whiskey, uh, yeah, bourbon a lot bigger into Brisbane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. You know, people getting to know things because they bring a lot in from overseas which people don't normally get. Yeah. yeah. Back home you, you you can't find on a shelf. Um you know Brian and I have a little bit of a joke every you know, game when I go in there is who's got the more bourbon um, <laughs> and what he's oh. got, what I have. <laughs> well you know, Jeffrey. Yeah, you know, he'll sit there and go, I've got well, this, I've got chat. that. What's no. that? Yep. What's Jeffrey, uh, asked? Jeffrey asked when you're gonna be mad. <laughs> Would Chad ever try to bless the rains in Australia? Ah. He's had that song stuck in his head for over a week. Um, over so it went from the point where it was funny and we both had it to like, okay, this is, uh, you know, kind of annoying too. Is this an actual condition where, is there like a medical condition where you can't stop thinking about that song? Well, thanks. I haven't thought about it since Friday, but, but now. Until now. <laughs> Eric. Cheers. I bless the rains down in Australia. No. Oh, no. 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 Eric, super no. chap. Oh. Hmm? Super oh, chap. Eric. Eric. No. I'm out. I'm Sorry. out. Uh, I need it's all right. Quick. We got a cowbell. Uh-huh. We do have a cowbell. <laughs> I'd rather have bourbon, but you know. Well, I know. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Eric. I'm blanking on any type of thing to do with a cowbell right now. But, um, hmm. Did you just have to hit it? Just, I think I just have just to hit it. it. I think you just have I to go for have, it. Sorry, Matt Preston, Sometimes I can't talk to you, you at the moment. We're it. still in the live. <laughs> yeah, he just tried to message me. Yeah, he's, like, he was just trying to ring me. He needs help bourbon wise. It's a bourbon emergency. <laughs> it must be. That uh, girl is poison. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that one. Yeah, all right. Um, and to end on this like nice note, Monica pointed out that Perry should be fired because he should have brought us snacks, refilled our waters, and reset the camera before he left. Right. <laughs> yep. I love to give Perry a hard time. He's just such a sweetheart. You bring up well, a good point, Monica. If, if you want to hear a hard time, we'll, you, you got to listen to Perry's podcast. I got to listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. listen to the podcast. Yes. Oh, I, like, I love Absolutely. you. You're so cute. Pear Bear copped a, a bit of a hammering downstairs at one stage. Oh, there, so. nice. Yeah. Can't wait for that podcast. Yeah. This is my bourbon podcast is what we are referring to. Go yes. check it out. Subscribe it on out. iTunes. Yep. We're, we, we, we guest on there. 
from time to time. We did a fun yep. episode last week. We we did a podcast from waiting the line, line waiting for 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 it was yeah. funny. It was us in rare form, so that yeah. was good. You should go check it out. <laughs> little, 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 uh, Sarah being not really with it. At I was not. I was like, what? I'm tired. Don't talk to me. Well, cool. Thank so. you guys so much for coming on the live. Yes, thank, thank you very much for having us. It's great to see you in the chat, but it's even better to have you here in person. In person. So that's what we prefer, just so you know. We wait all year for this time. Yeah. So. <laughs> that, that, it's a special time That's because Chad waits for the bourbon that we bring. <laughs> well, that's true. It's not all it's about true. that. So, do you enjoy the Did you enjoy the 1795? I did. We had that top of the episode. Yeah. And Joseph! Um, <laughs> what Joseph? Joseph, oh, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph's back Joseph, on. Look out. He wants, Joseph, <laughs> down, he wants down under. Minute works down under. Do I know that? Minute works. I come from a land down. Under. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, That's okay. what I did earlier. But I don't. We're something, something, and something plunder. But I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know the words either, and I'm from Australia. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, you should be banned yeah, yeah, from yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. You can't go back in. It's like, that's like, can you prove oh. you're Australian? Thank I come you, from Joseph. a land down under. Okay. No, our, our actual um, test is eating Vegemite. Vegemite, yeah. Oh. So if you can't eat Vegemite, yeah, we should have brought some yeah. in for you. I don't know. I've never had it. No. Oh, we'll, let, we'll have to drop some. We've got we've some got little, little taste little of things. Packets. Otherwise, go see Chris Evans at okay. um, Bourbon and Rye because we've brought a whole heap <laughs> of I'll for try him. it, but I'm scared. You've scared me. <laughs> you should be. You should. <laughs> Let's see. I come from a land down oh. under. <laughs> With something, something, and men plunder. <laughs> Should have looked it up first. Oh, he, 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 good job, Joseph. Good job. You better run. You, you better, better take, take cover. cover. <laughs> Straight from the Australians themselves. There you go. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, all my friends are going to be watching this going, oh my God, oh. you are such a dad. Yeah, they're sitting there going, my God, you have not drunk that much, have you? <laughs> well, I'm Obviously feeling a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. I feel a lot better than I did this morning. So oh, thank yes. you. That's thank good. you. Uh, thanks, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, thank you so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was honestly a gift. It was. <laughs> like, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's All what right. happens when you have Australians in the house. <laughs> it, it happens. It, that song breaks out. You never know what's going to You have happen. Australians in the house. Exactly. So, that'll do it for us. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to you know see you a couple times more. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. 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 Bourbon Festival. Down Bourbon Festival. Bourbon and Beyond. beyond. Yep. 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 So, we'll, we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And, um... This, uh, anything you want to plug or anything? Follow you guys on any follow social Max. media or oh, follow Max. Max is on Instagram. It's Max loves bourbon. Max loves bourbon. Very nice. That's Very it. Nice. The traveling Max. The traveling Max. <laughs> yeah, he he's he gets traveled, around. Gets, he does. Yeah. He has an alligator for a great. girlfriend, and uh, he drinks a lot of bourbon. Yeah, and he likes boobs. <laughs> Sounds like an Australian. So name. follow him yeah. and see his adventures. <laughs> Yes. On Instagram. Absolutely. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. And Chad. Yep. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. <laughs> hey, no problem. Thank and you, Chad and Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Lil. Thanks, well, everybody. Thank Thanks, you. Chad. Thanks, all. And until next time, drink, drink more bourbon. bourbon. Oh, God. <laughs>